The topic of this video is analyzing the graph of a rational function. This is a continuation of the previous video. Okay, we've already completed steps one and two. We found our domain and we found that our graph has a single whole. We're now ready to move on to step three, finding intercepts. Intercepts come in two flavors, x and y. And the interesting thing about an x-intercept is that y equals zero. And the interesting thing about a y-intercept is that x equals zero. So let's look for these intercepts using those properties. First, x-intercepts, y equals zero. The part of our equation that tells us that y equals zero is right here, r of x. And when we're looking for our intercepts, we can use the reduced r of x. So this is going to be the x plus eight function that we're talking about here. So replacing r of x with zero, we get zero equals x plus eight over x plus six. Now one property of fractions is the only way a fraction ever equals zero is if its numerator equals zero. So from this, we get the statement x plus eight equals zero, and therefore x equals negative eight. Now remember, we're looking for x-intercepts which have a y of zero, so that means our x-intercept is negative eight comma zero. So x-intercept negative eight comma zero. All right, now let's turn our attention to the y-intercepts. Y-intercept has an x of zero. Once again, we're plugging into our reduced r of x, x equals zero. So we get y is equal to x plus eight over x plus six. Replacing each x with zero, we get zero plus eight over zero plus six, which is eight sixths, which reduces to four thirds. So our y-intercept on our graph is zero comma four thirds. Okay, now we'll move on to step four, vertical asymptotes and their behavior. Clear a little space. Okay, let's remind ourselves how step four works. Using the reduced R, find the vertical asymptotes. Graph each vertical asymptote using a dashed line. Determine the behavior of the graph of R on either side of each vertical asymptote. All right, so we're going to set our reduced r of x equal to zero. And by subtracting six on both sides, we get x equals negative six. This is our vertical asymptote. And notice that we got this factor x plus six just once which is an odd value. So that means that our vertical asymptote is either going to be up on the left, down on the right, or it's going to be down on the left and up on the right. We'll get more information about that a little later on. Okay, we've now completed steps three and four. The only ones left to go are five and six. We'll continue that in the next video.